Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today we have another question from my students from course. How to change a color by pressing a button with Visual Basic script? Okay, when we checked the video about the buttons, we changed the color of this IO field by pressing the buttons. So if we set, we have the color, we reset, we don't have green. Now we want to make every click on button, we change the color, but using the Visual Basic script. So if you go to buttons, we see that my color is changing by dynamic dialog. So if my output is one, we have the green. And if my output is zero, we have the gray. But what in case we want to have more colors? Let's create some rectangle. And this rectangle, we will change the color of this rectangle with uh, some buttons. If you want to change the color during the runtime, we need to turn off the global color scheme. We go to no. So the basic color for now is gray. We put some button, for example, button one will be uh, white, white, and for example, button, button second will be green. Okay, so now we have the rectangle and two buttons. If I click on white, I need to change the color of this rectangle. This rectangle has the name rectangle second. Let's change the name, for example, R second. It will be easier to find. Now we click on button and we go to events, mouse. On the press left, we go to Visual Basic Script Action. Now we need to prepare some dim variable, dim tag, and this dim tag should be, for example, dim tag one, and this tag one is the internal object, should be internet object to control this rectangle second. So we need to put the set tag one is, now we have the function screen items. Screen items and we open, we need the object. So our object on our screen is R2. Now, if we click on this button, we want to change the back color of this item and we need to put the color for this. So we go to tag one and we have the functionality back color. We can change also the border color, the border style, etc, etc. But we want to change the back color. So the back color is our mm, so back color is our color of this rectangle. In Visual Basic Script, we have the function RGB. So it's red, green, blue. And we need to put some data. Let's put just 10, 10, 10. It's not white, but let's put this. And let's save this window. After we run this action, we go to, okay, we have the black. So we need to find the RGB information about this color. We go to back color, we click on this and we have the color palette. And we have different color palette, more and more. But the white color is here. So if you choose the white color, we see that red is 
255, 255, 255. Okay, so if you want to make the white, we need to put an RGB 255, 255, and 255. So our script now will provide the white color into our rectangle. Okay, now let's change this color, for example, for yellow. And if we put, we go to white, we have white. Let's change this also for the second button. The second button, we copy this script. And we want to get the green color. So our green color, we need to make the R is zero, green is okay, and now we should have the green color. So red is zero and blue is zero, now we should have the green, white and green. But what in case we want to choose the different kind of colors. We can select, for example, some of possibilities about the HTML codes. So we can provide the web user color. So as we go to colors and we put, we see the HTML code. And we can also provide this number into our script. So let's check, for example, this color. The code of this HTML is here. And we can put this into our button. So we don't use the RGB now. We will use the HTML code. But in WinCC, we need to provide these two letters. Now we save and we should get the information with white, green and HTML code. In WinCC Visual Basic Script, we have also possibility to use some constants, for example, V black. Now, if we go to press left, we don't use this. We want to use some constant. In Visual Basic, we have constants with V B, and now we can put the black. As you see, the color of this string is changed. We have the same with VB red, VB blue, etc, etc. So, if you want to use the visual basic constants, you can use this also in VCC V7 visual basic script. We save and we run this. We go to green, white, HTML green and black. Everything is working. So we have a lot of possibilities in WinCC V7 Visual Basic Script. Every time we push these buttons, we can change the colors. Make more tests with these colors and if you need more support just give me information in comments so i can prepare something for you